Okay, we're at 4669 Royal Doorknock. Here's the front of the house. A nice sidewalk right in front. A nice preserve area over here. Walk up the front, two car garage. As we walk in, we have a room to our left. Nice tall ceilings. Closet. So the size of this bedroom. It's like a queen size bed in here. Shut this door. It has its own bathroom. Clean. solid surface. Looks like a quartz. Down the hallway, a door right here. Closet, storage. This would be like a formal dining room, but they're using it as an office, which I'm sure you would do as well. To my right here is where you come in from the garage into the laundry room. Nice little sink basin. Nice little room for the puppy dog bed. Nice little mud room space right here. Garage, for a light here. Just a basic garage. We have an extra refrigerator out here. Walk through here. Should be a half bath, yep. Yeah. This is the guest bath right off of the office and living room and kitchen. Little pedestal sink. Another bedroom over there. They're using this as a pantry. So my guess is they don't have a walk-in pantry. So it sounds like AC. Yep. Mechanicals in here. Um, this is 2017, 2016. It was installed, so it's original. Nice carrier unit. Another bedroom with an ensuite. Looks like a queen size bed in here as well. I would probably turn the bed this way. Um, I can't tell what that is. I think that's a cord. I don't know what that is. Walk-in showers. This would probably be the parents' room. Matches the front room. Nice glass shower door. Everything's pretty clean. Carpet. Probably needs a cleaning. So I'll just replace the bedrooms because that's all it's in. 
Here's our living room, kitchen, really nice space over here. Kitchen, you have it really, you can fit four chairs here so you can have the kids at the bar. It's extended like that other one as well. Gas, KitchenAid appliances. Everything's white and bright, no dark floors. KitchenAid refrigerator. And microwave oven combo. It's kind of like a cream color. We have this all the butler's pantry here as well. So you have lots and lots of cabinet space. Because you have that pantry over there as well. I also have a dining room area here. So I would definitely use that space for an office through here. That makes a lot of sense. Very large living room. They do have some tray ceilings with some detail on top. So they did do like a little bit of a wood floor in here, wood look floor in the master. King size bed. I bet you. Double sinks, double vanity sinks, no tub, walk-in shower. Water closet and closet. Mm -hmm. And my bed was gonna be that it was a single guy and a dog. So that's kind of what I'm getting. But anyways, you have all this space back here. Again, like the other house, you have tons of ceiling space. So I would put cabinets or some sort of storage unit because all this is just a waste of space that you could put, um, you could utilize so much. Let's go outside. There's one in closet right here. So he just has a standalone grill here. These pocket back just to that door right there, and you do have the hurricane clips here. So you have the sitting area. Not as much um, covered space um, as like the last one we saw, but you could put a table here. Um, it'd just be right by the door. And he's using propane, but I do you see a looks which looks like a gas step out to me um, so I don't know if he's just using that for the pizza but um, he does have a yeah he does have a separate gas grill here the pool it's kind of cute you have a privacy wall here and you have some privacy here I think that's you have a dog park behind you. I'm gonna walk over there in a second. But here's the patio area. And it looks like he has a roll down shade here. Um, Cause you might get some heat coming off if you wanna be outside watching some TV, help block the, the glare. Um, yeah, that's a dog park right there. But you have lots of puppies. You can see that there. There's a puppy right there. Hi, puppy. <laughs> so you will have some puppies barking at you if they see you out here. Your neighbor does not have a pool yet. 
but that would be your neighbor right here. They had a dog for sure. Um, I'm gonna say this outside of the house. Uh, the dog, that actually might be the owner, so I'm not gonna say that. Um, the dog smell in this house is actually quite pungent. So I definitely need an ozone in the cleaning. Um, but if you could get it at the right price, it might be worth it. So I just wanna show you the side of your house here. Really nice and private. But like I said, you do have the dog park right there. So that is a good and bad thing probably. All right. I'll send this to you guys and I'll see you shortly.